Hey, what is up everyone? Marsleaf here, and today I'm going to show you all a quick tutorial on how to change mods in Kane's Wrath without having to use the Raft mod launcher. So I've got two mods here. I've got One Vision and Big Bang, and we're going to switch between the two without any mod tools. So I'm going to open up the One Vision file that you uh, have when you download it, and then I'm going to go to One Vision, which is where the files of the mod are stored. It's going to contain these three files here. And what we want to do is we want to copy this over and then go to our Kane's Wrath um, directory and just paste it into the Kane's Wrath directory. As you can see, one version is here. And you want to make sure that there is a config file, config.txt, which uh, has add big these two bigs here because these are the mod files that we need to add to the game. As you can see, this guy's already created it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rename this to config.txt. Make sure that is named this way. And then afterwards, what we want to do is go to our Kane's Wrath main directory again, choose the skewdef 1.02 for the language that you have installed. In my case, it's English, so I'm gonna go here. And I've already got one similar to this. I'm just gonna copy that 4K one, paste that in there, and then go, instead of 4K, of course, it's one vision. So one vision, and then the config file that we just named. And now it's gonna add uh, those files to the game first. Now, mod files that appear at the top will load first and will ignore the other ones. But what I wanna do here is just put a letter symbol or number in front of these two so they don't load. So the way I'm going to change between the mods is I'm going to just uh, remove and add these uh, forward slashes to the other config files. Leave the rest alone, just the what, patch 1.03 and 4K mod one, then I'm going to do this. And I'm going to open up the game and you're going to see that the One Vision mod will load. Without any problem. So just take a while for this game to load. I do have, I don't have the um, logo to load, so that's good. One Vision's loaded, you can see. Uh, you can see all the One Vision stuff here. And now we're gonna switch, you gonna switch between this and the uh, Big Bang mod. So let's go ahead and do the same for the Big Bang. So got the Big Bang here. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna check the files that he has. Okay, mod files, that's the really the only file that we should care about. And you can see he's got the .big files in there, as well as a config file. He's created one for us, which is great. Yep, that looks fine. So we're just going to copy this over on, into our Kane's Wrath directory once more. So we go ahead and go back to our Kane's Wrath directory, paste that into the Kane's Wrath root folder, like you see here. Copy the file, file folder name of this, which is unofficial patch 1.02 and then the same scooter file as before. And then we're just gonna put it to the top of everything. So, oops, I'm gonna copy this for a reference. And then instead of one vision, we're just gonna put in official patch 1.3. By the way, what I just did there, there was press the Windows key in V just to get to my clipboard history. Anyway, you can see unofficial patch 1.04, which is this one here, and then the config file inside of that, which is right there. And that's gonna load these two mod files and because it's at the top of this um, notepad document, this will load first. And I'm going to just put a forward slash in front of this one vision entry so that that isn't loading. So let's go ahead and open the game once again. And we're going to see that the unofficial patch 1.04, aka Big Bang mod will load instead of one vision. There we can see the game is loading. He's got a different loading screen. And there we go. That's the Big Bang mod. And now what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the 4K mod and 1.02 plus. And to do that, all you do, forward slash here, and then just undo the forward slashes and these two, because the 4K mod and patch 1.03 are basically intertwined. So I've opened the game. And you can create a shortcut of this uh, .scudev file on your desktop if you want to add, if you want to switch between the mods there you can see 4K mod, R19 is right here. So that's working. Okay, and then I'll switch to one vision. You want to go to one vision? Okay. Forward slash in front of these two, and then remove the forward slash from the one vision, and then I'll open up one vision. One vision will load and open. Just like that, guys. Super, super, super easy. And let's just do the unofficial patch 1.03 again. So I've just switched to the patch 1.03. 
opening the game again. And we're going to see that that will change to the Big Bang patch from one vision. Again, works perfectly. No need for the Raft mod launcher. Literally took me a minute to set that up without any problem. And uh, there's no bugs either with this. Works all the time flawlessly. Now, I am not one of these players who plays one vision or Big Bang. So I'm just going to add the 4K mod and the R19 stuff because I play that. Now, what I want to do here is uh, just create a shortcut of this file. So I'm going to create a shortcut of this uh, English 1.2.scudef file and I'm going to cut it. So Control X and then I, what I did was just cut and then go to my desktop and just paste this on my desktop here. And then I can just open this up and uh, edit the, the mods that I want. So I can use this as my patch changer. So I can add one symbol, letter or number in front of these uh, config text files and just have the ones that I am using. So there's the one vision, there's the unofficial patch 1.03. There's patch 1.03 and 4K. These two are the same thing pretty much. So if you have this enabled, then I suggest you have this also enabled because the 4K mod com complements this. So yeah, guys, hope you all enjoyed this video. This is just a quick tutorial on how to switch mods about the Raft uh, mod launcher. I think it's super easy. I'm surprised no one's done this yet. Nonetheless, uh, this is going to be it. So thank you all for watching. This is going to be me, Master Leave. Peace out.